in the shadowy underworld of Dublin's criminal landscape, a new power is rising, a tale of intrigue, crime, and the hidden world of The Family, a criminal organization that's poised to become Ireland's largest drug gang, potentially surpassing even the notorious Kinahan Cartel. Our journey into the world of The Family unfolds against the backdrop of the Kinahan Cartel's decline. Once a powerful force, the Kinahan cartel face troubles as law enforcement crack down on their activities and internal conflicts weakened their grasp. It was in this vulnerable moment that the family, led by the cunning Brian Grendon and his brother Philip, saw an opportunity to rise. The decline of the Kinahan cartel was like a crack in the fortress, allowing the family to step into the spotlight. Brian Grendon, a strategic mastermind, saw the changing tides and decided it was time for a new player to take the stage. Their approach was different from the Kinahan cartel. They chose the shadows over the limelight, avoiding unnecessary attention. As the Kinahan cartel faced setbacks, it quietly spread its roots, becoming a dominating force in Ireland's drug trade. Their expansion was a carefully planned strategy with Brian Grendon making strategic moves to secure their position without attracting unwanted scrutiny. The family's rise wasn't just about seizing opportunities, it was about adapting to the changing landscape of Dublin's criminal underworld. They operated in the shadows, keeping a low profile and focusing on their goals without unnecessary confrontations. The approach was simple but effective. Let the actions speak louder than words. Their expansion was a diversification of their criminal portfolio. Brian Grendon, with his strategic brilliance, ensured that their influence extended beyond traditional boundaries. It wasn't just about drugs. It was about controlling significant portions of Dublin's criminal activities. Let's take a closer look at the family's world, a hidden empire built on secrecy strategy, and most importantly, profit. As we dive into their operations, the intricate details of this sophisticated criminal organization come to light. The family's expansion is not confined to Irish borders. It's a calculated reach into international territories. They navigate through the cracks left by the Kinahan cartel's downfall, taking advantage of the changing dynamics in the global criminal landscape. This calculated move allowed them to amass wealth, influence, and power on an unprecedented scale. Their network extends far beyond Ireland, with strategic connections reaching into Eastern Europe and other regions, solidifying their influence across borders. They operate like a well-oiled machine, each part contributing to their grand design. What sets them apart is their discreet approach. Unlike flashy criminal groups to grab headlines, they prefer the shadows, avoiding the glaring eyes of the media. This low-profile strategy becomes their shield, allowing them to move silently through the complex web of Dublin's criminal activities. Their dealings in cocaine, heroin, and cannabis indicate a well-thought-out approach, ensuring a constant flow of profits. The diversification in their criminal portfolio serves as a shield, protecting them from reliance on a single illicit trade. This strategic maneuver allows them to navigate various facets of the illicit trade, making them a formidable force in Ireland's criminal landscape. Their operations extend far beyond the surface, with connections intricately woven into the fabric of the city. The family's network reaches corners that most wouldn't even imagine, from street corners to higher echelons, their influence is pervasive. It's not just about selling drugs, it's about controlling significant portions of Dublin's drug trade. Their approach is a stark contrast to the violent tendencies often associated with criminal organizations. While others engage in turf wars and public displays of power, the family is more interested in the silent power of profit. The focus on profit isn't just about accumulating wealth. It's a survival strategy, allowing them to thrive even in the face of adversity. As the family continues to expand its influence, the Gardaí, 
Ireland's police force steps up its efforts to combat the growing threat. Operation Tara unfolds as a strategic response to curb the criminal activities associated with them. This operation aims to dismantle the organized crime network that has embedded itself into Dublin's underbelly. Operation Tara is a comprehensive effort involving multiple units within the Gardaí. Their mission is clear, disrupt the family's operations and bring its key players to justice. Brian Grendon, recognized as the mastermind behind them, and five others are apprehended as part of this operation. The arrest of Brian Grendon signifies a significant blow to the family's structure. It disrupts the cohesion of the criminal organization and sends a message that law enforcement is actively pursuing those responsible for perpetuating serious crimes, particularly the distribution of heroin. Operation Tara is not without its challenges. The Guard D deploys various specialized units, such as the Special Crime Task Force, the Dog Unit, and others showcasing a united front against organized crime. The collaborative effort aims to weaken their influence and protect the community from the detrimental effects of their criminal operations. Gardi, the vigilant guardians of Ireland's safety, raise a red flag as they voice concerns about the family, potentially surpassing the notorious Kinahan cartel. The backdrop to this concern lies in their opportunistic strategy, capitalizing on international crackdowns that have weakened the once dominant Kinahan cartel. The Gardee's unease is not unfounded. The family, with its shrewd maneuvers, is steadily accumulating significant profits. Their operations extend beyond a single type of drug, encompassing a diverse portfolio that includes cocaine, heroin, and cannabis. This diversity in criminal activities allows them to navigate various facets of the illicit trade, making them a formidable force in Ireland's criminal landscape. The concerns expressed by the Gardaí reveal the gravity of the situation. The family's rise, fueled by the decline of the Kinahan cartel, poses a substantial threat. The Gardaí, in their role as protectors of the community, are acutely aware of the potential consequences of a criminal organization going unchecked. As we explore their ambitions, it becomes clear that they aren't just seeking dominance for the sake of power. Their calculated maneuvers and exploitation of international circumstances reveal a keen understanding of the criminal landscape. Each move is designed to secure their position at the summit of Ireland's criminal hierarchy. The Gardaí's concerns are not just about the present, they are a warning bell for the future. The potential ascent of the family to the title of Ireland's largest drug gang raises questions about the safety and security of the community. The narrative unfolding is not just a battle between criminal organizations, it's a struggle for the well-being of the people. As the sun sets over Dublin, the underworld is in flux, with the family on the brink of becoming the unrivaled force in Ireland's criminal landscape. The twists and turns of this gripping narrative underscore the relentless pursuit of power and dominance in the hidden corridors of the Irish underworld. Thanks for exploring the underworld with us. If you enjoyed this journey, hit like, share and subscribe for more crime stories every Saturday. Stay vigilant, stay curious, and stay tuned for the next gripping tale. Until then, keep your eyes on the dark side, and we'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe, stay informed. This is Underworld Chronicles, signing off.